Unit Twelve. My future career. Page seventy. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. I've been choosing my school subjects for next year. I've decided to take a vocational GCSE along with some traditional academic subjects. A vocational GCSE? What's that? Well, GCSEs are secondary certificates of education, which are studied by students aged between 14 to 16. In vocational subjects, students can study a work sector like applied business, design, health, or tourism. Isn't it hard to study both academic and vocational subjects at the same time? And isn't it too soon to be doing vocational training? Well, no. They offer an applied approach to learning, so it's not too difficult or too soon. I think it adds variety. Oh, I see. What area are you interested in? Leisure and tourism. So, what job opportunities are there in tourism? A lot. You can work as a housekeeper, receptionist, tour guide, lodging manager, chef, or event planner. You can also work in customer service. Sounds interesting. What if you change your mind later? No worries. I can still progress to further education to take A levels. With A levels, I can go to college or university. What about you? My dad is encouraging me to choose biology, chemistry, and physics. Wow. To become a doctor? Yeah, we've discussed becoming a doctor, but I may also become a biologist. Unit twelve, page seventy-four. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. The responses to the pairs of sentences are the same, but the speakers have opposite attitudes. Listen, draw arrows to show the tones, then repeat. One A. They have a new air conditioner. Brilliant. One B. There's going to be an electricity cut today. Brilliant. Two A. I got the sack. Well done. Two B. I got a promotion again. Well done. Three A. I got an A in the exam. Excellent. Three B, I failed the exam again. Excellent. Four A, her application was turned down. Amazing. Four B, I've been offered two jobs at the same time. Amazing. Five A. We're having a company holiday in a luxury resort. How awful! Five B, he has decided to cut down on our wages. How awful! Unit twelve, page seventy-four. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen to the conversations between Jenny and Tom. Notice how Tom uses the tones in his replies. Then practice the conversation with a partner. One. The new office is pretty. Pretty. 
It's amazing. Two. My new computer is okay. Okay. It's fantastic. Three. The canteen is good. Good. It's wonderful. Four. My colleagues are okay. Okay. They are absolutely fantastic. Five. The working environment is pleasant. Pleasant. It's superb. Six. The view from my office is nice. Nice. It's gorgeous. Unit twelve. Page seventy nine. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Fom is talking to Mrs. Warner, Nick's mother, about future jobs he and his friends want to do. Listen to the conversation and fill in the blanks with no more than three words. We had a good discussion yesterday about our future careers. Did you? With Nick? Yes, and also with Chang. Good. Nick said that you want to become a teacher. I've changed my mind. My mum is a teacher. She has mountains of work to do behind the scenes, preparing lessons, marking, giving feedback. She always has to work overtime without extra pay. I'd choose a nine-to-five job. I know. Then there's the unpleasant task of dealing with lazy or naughty students. I'm not that patient. But it's rewarding when your students are successful and they appreciate your efforts. What about Chang? She said she's interested in travelling and she's a sociable girl. She wants to become a tour guide. That sounds good. What about Nick? Nick doesn't want to spend so much time on academic subjects. He'd prefer to acquire some applied skills and get a job right after school. Did he tell you which job? He mentioned becoming a mechanic. He's fascinated by cars and he's good with his hands. I know, but it won't be easy. He'll need to learn lots of skills to do it. Unit twelve, page seventy nine. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again and decide if the following statements are true or false. We had a good discussion yesterday about our future careers. Did you? With Nick? Yes, and also with Chang. Good. Nick said that you want to become a teacher. I've changed my mind. My mum is a teacher. She has mountains of work to do behind the scenes, preparing lessons, marking, giving feedback. She always has to work overtime without extra pay. I'd choose a nine-to-five job. I know. Then there's the unpleasant task of dealing with lazy or naughty students. I'm not that patient. But it's rewarding when your students are successful and they appreciate your efforts. What about Chang? She said she's interested in travelling and she's a sociable girl. She wants to become a tour guide. That sounds good. What about Nick? Nick doesn't want to spend so much time on academic subjects. He'd prefer to acquire some applied skills and get a job right after school. Did he tell you which job? He mentioned becoming a mechanic. He's fascinated by cars and he's good with his hands. I know, but it won't be easy. He'll need to learn lots of skills to do it.